Hello and welcome to another episode of Dad's Divorce Live. My name is Rick Ortiz of dadsdivorce.com. Today we're speaking to Dr. Lyndon Nielsen. Dr. Nielsen is a nationally renowned expert on father-daughter relationships and uh, she has been teaching, conducting research and writing about dads and adult daughters for more than two decades. Today we're going to discuss her most recent book, Between Fathers and Daughters, Enriching and Rebuilding Your Adult Relationships. It's from Cumberland House. It was published in 2008, and it has been widely acclaimed as a groundbreaking resource for fathers and adult daughters. Um, today we're going to speak to her primarily about father and daughter relationships and how those relationships are affected by divorce. Dr. Nielsen, welcome. Thank you. And uh, let's talk a little bit about the father-daughter relationship as it exists, just even, even outside of divorce, and, and the uh, peculiarities to that uh, relationship and the bonds that exist, and, and just uh, fill us in a little bit about the dynamics of the father-daughter relationship. Right. I think that's a good place to start, which is what are most father-daughter relationships like before a divorce? In other words, during the typical marriage, what kind of relationships do most fathers and daughters have? And again, I'm not talking about young daughters here. The age group that my book is written for is daughters from the age of 18 to 40. And so if we look at the typical family before a divorce, the father-daughter relationship, even though the two of them love one another, that relationship is typically not nearly as close as the mother-daughter relationship. Typically, the father-daughter will say they love each other, but they're not comfortable communicating with one another. They're certainly not comfortable communicating about personal topics, about relationship topics, about anything other than sports, weather, movies, the, the trivial, superficial stuff. So what we have before a divorce is a father and daughter who love each other, but who do not communicate well about personal topics, then we have the mother-daughter relationship, which in many ways is working against that father-daughter relationship in that the two women are typically more closely bonded than the father and the daughter are. So right here we have a bad setup before divorce occurs in terms of what's likely to happen to that father-daughter relationship after a divorce. And the news there is not good which is that most father-daughter relationships take a far heavier hit after a divorce than the father-son relationship does. So if you're a dad, either a divorced dad or a headed-for-divorced dad, the signs along the road are telling you that the child that you most have to worry about in terms of the relationship with your children, the child that you most have to worry about having damage control or damage to that relationship is your daughter, not your son. And um, what can you do, what can a man who is going to, who's going through divorce or perceives that maybe one might be on the horizon, <clears throat> what would you recommend? And I know that it depends on the, the age of the, of the daughter um, and the specifics of the situation, but what would you recommend that that father do to okay. take care of damage control? A father can start this, uh, these kind of conversations and these uh, suggestions I'm going to give you. You can start this with a daughter who's as young as 14. depends on her maturity level. The first thing that a father needs to do, either before that divorce or after the divorce, is you need to start spending time alone with your daughter, not with any of the other kids, just you and your daughter, goodness sakes, not with your daughter and any woman that you're dating, all right? You want to carve out time just for you and your daughter. Mm -hmm. That's very rare in our society, but that's the primary thing that a father can do before or after that divorce is start spending time alone with your daughter. I don't care what you do with her. The activity is not important. What's important is that the two of you get comfortable just hanging out together. Mm -hmm nobody else with you. And by that I mean, by hanging out together, I don't mean you go to a sports event and sit there with 3,000 people and stare at a football field. I'm talking about any kind of activity where there's time for the two of you to talk to each other. That's the first step. The second step is, 
whatever you do, do not say anything negative about her mother because you've got to remember that these two women are already probably more closely bonded. They're already talking about personal things related to that divorce, and we've got research on this. Mothers disclose far more to their daughters than they do to their sons about what went on in your marriage and what's going on in this divorce. That's not a good thing. That's a really bad thing for the moms to do. But the mother typically is going to dump all that stuff on the daughter, not on the son. You as a father don't follow suit, okay? Don't disclose anything negative about your ex-wife to your daughter. I know that's hard to do, but you're going to lose that game. What you can do as you start to build more meaningful conversations with your daughter is ask her if she has any questions that she wants to ask about the divorce. Let her know that you're willing to discuss those things, but let her take the first step in asking you. At least let her know that you're willing to talk about what happened. That's the major mistake most fathers make. They, they want to show the daughter that they're frustrated and they're angry, and, but don't go there. Let her see the heartbreak that's there. That's the way to open the door. Too many divorced fathers back away from the daughter because she's so difficult to be with and she seems to be so rejecting and understandably after a while you know you just get tired as a father of being ignored and mistreated you know these daughters can be mean they can be really mean to their dads they can say some mean things and do some hateful things as a father what i would say is stick with her the most important thing you can do for her relationships with men is don't let your daughter push you out of the picture let her know you're still there for her this way you're sending her the message she's loved by you regardless of how she treats you you're still there for her that's the message you need to send her that will help her with her future relationships with men because she won't the thing you don't want her to feel is abandoned or ignored by you that's when she's going to go off doing all these goofy things in relationships with men because she feels abandoned or ignored by her own father that's what you need to give her well i think that's a great place to stop for today and uh dr nielsen i want to thank you for joining us on dad's divorce live you're so welcome Dr. Linda Nielsen, her most uh, recent book is Between Fathers and Daughters, Enriching and Rebuilding Your Adult Relationships. And we're going to have a link on our site where you can find that book. And it's a must read for any father of daughters who's going through divorce, or uh, even if you're not going through divorce. Thank you, Dr. Nielsen. You're so welcome. Mm -hmm. Bye-bye. And, and we want to thank you for tuning in to Dad's Divorce Live on dadsdivorce.com. I'm Rick Ortiz. And I want to remind you that you can see a full version of this video cast as a podcast by clicking on podcasts on the left hand side of our screen. Thank you.